Uh, I'm Chrissy Bard. I don't want to be saying Chrissy Donahue Ward. I don't want to be thinking I'm above anybody else because I'm not. We're all the one. Lift right or centre, we're all the one people. Chrissy, will you tell us a bit about this place? Oh God, at what age is them? About 35 years old, I think, these boys. Okay. And the boys got the maid because we used to go down and pick at North Collins Street, you know, the, yeah. the county council office, because mm -hmm. they weren't passing any sites and they weren't spending the money for sites. And there were bulldozing the travellers out of it. And we went down and uh, one of them got his maid for me, Paddy, my sister Nan, brother-in-law John, Michael McCann, so the whole lot of us, we got the maid and we picked it first for two days around the door and no, and no sign of the travellers coming up what we're going to do with them. Okay. Not a thing about them. And we're waiting for this thing, bill or something to come and pass. Okay. And what happened was we were fed up with them and the boys went on and got these made. And we just walked in the, do the lovely door one day yeah. and t t uh, chained them all onto the railings. Jeez, that was amazing. What a brave gone. thing to do. Yeah, chained them onto the railings. So it was me and that. I'm going to show you the photo yeah. and the piece of paper of them. And well, there was six of us in So that's how passionate you felt at that particular time. Yeah, yeah. And that was the late 70s, about yeah, human yeah. rights for yeah, travellers. Yeah, it was, yeah. Like yourself, you're one of the main... Well, we were only two women, yes, really. But you're the main activist, mm, yourself mm, and Nan, God yeah, rest your yeah. soul. Nan was our spokes. That established time, yeah. um, traveller rights. Yeah, yeah, we did. And you did well, an amazing our family, job. Our family all felt bad about it, you know. Well, I had a brother now as well, and he, he be, oh God, the things he did. He said, they were pulling him out of the camp, and what do you think he did? He pulled his trailer across the road and he set fire to it. Yeah. He did, I swear to God, and he built a tent. Oh. So that's, that's how that's strong... That's how he felt about it. That's yeah. how strong as a yeah. family that she felt about And when he built a tent, rights. he put placards from one end of the main road to the other. And the people kept saying, leave the poor people alone. And uh, he ended up getting his sight of it. But he helped other people, they were throwing other people out. And he went and towed them back and back to the camp again. And that's what we used to do across the road and towed all the travellers out. And the, the boys went back and towed them back to the camp. And we were over there. We were over there when there was shots and everything fell through the windows. Towers mm. travellers at that particular time because that, of yeah. racism and discrimination. Yeah. Oh, you don't know what the travellers went through years ago. You were very, very brave people as two women, two yeah. traveller women stand out for traveller rights at that particular time when you know travellers didn't travel mm, and was mm. stayed at home at that particular yeah, time. Did, yeah. So yeah. that must have been to me myself you're a legend and so oh. is your sister God rest her soul. Yeah. You know and I think it's really important yeah. that and then you know that you went up for election then and Tara was an awful place for the travellers as well. There was thousands and thousands came out to protest and some of them was politicians after that. They got in there, see. You do something for for other people and lead them out. Mm -hmm. Well, then, you, you know, to get... Now, they were in town before any houses was built or any sites yeah. was built or a, any houses was built. And so suddenly when they built the new house in Tala, the travellers pushed out the town. Okay. And they, they, were, they pulled onto the highway, the main road. It was so dangerous for the children. So we went over, me and my sister Nan and the boys, not, not just one of us, the whole lot of us was a small group really. Yeah. So we went over to get all the travellers out to follow the march around the village. They wouldn't give them, wouldn't give them petrol and what deserve them in the shop. And it would, did you get much support from settled people at that time? Well, there was a few people now. We said, found a man and... Found a man and there was a couple of settled people now. There wasn't a big Latin town, it was about two or three supporters in Pell. And uh, that's, we had a few supporters, the people that say social workers and that. was out and not a big load of very But you, but yourself and your sister, God rest mm -hmm. her soul, led out the political movement, the civil rights movement. Yeah, and our that that particular one, time. Related, one family was kind of, my uncle Tom, I know Thomas McCann. I do indeed. You know him. Well, he was, him and his brother Michael, and his father was my uncle, okay. and he'd bring down his old wagon to the marches and make his old kitchen of tea in the wagon, and he was always there with his wagon. I don't know. Yeah.
That's uh, they, they used to have little pockets. The old women years ago, the young women never wore them, but the old women used to have them, and they had them for the teeth, the bottle, little scissors, a little spoon for the child. I often seen to mm, the old. Yeah. My mother didn't wear them now. Yeah. To be honest, she was a bit. She liked her. She liked her style. Yeah. <laughs> That's the you made that for who, Pussy? No, I just made it because the oh, time was just... The body wore it off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah. 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 61 years old, that was. Eight children I had in one of them. Eight. We were around the country. But we always got a little stove in. They were strong with trailers, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Yeah, and they were very warm. I'll have to stick the paper up, look, it's fine yeah, down there. Yeah. No, I'll get the children yeah. to do it yeah. after. But, um, but it's lovely, Chrissy. This see. was in bits, in bits when it came here. Well, it wasn't wrecked. It was wrecked, but not not. You rotten. decorated it all not yourself. Not rotten, yeah. So, it took a little weird. It's lovely. It's little weird it's beautiful. Stuff, it? So, there's not about. So this it's is, very homely. This is for someone that, if they come, there's an old bed here for them. Yeah. So you still <laughs> offer in a yeah, travel if you yeah. had somewhere to go. Yeah, there's a bed here for you don't turn you don't turn no one away, it's not bed. Yeah. Uh, this is an old trail. It's very old. This is here is years now, uh, believe it or not. That's your um Mommy, I think you have this trail. I make some you see the stuff, look. I make the stuff. Oh, all out everything. of waste. Waste material. Yeah, you made all them curtains. Really? So I make this uh Stuff you and I made you made all them makes them all that stuff there and all them pillows and them yeah. curtains yeah. and all of that stuff is out. Well, some of it is there the for owl. years. That's the owl. Some of it's there for years, the but that's out the of car man. boots now. It's not bought modern. It's lovely, Traveller's photos, and I'll show you some of those. There's no ends and stuff. That press is full. That press is full. At next door is full. And uh, I collect everything. Some of my poems, I think, in this. Is there a button? Is there some of my poems in this book? Check it. I tore some pages. What are you looking for? Her poetry that she's written. Some, you know, oh, there is a poem in here. She's a book. She's boxes of poetry, don't you? There is one poem in here, isn't there? Oh, so, no, there should be for loaded of them, and, unless I tore them out. This is all. Um, Into Sharon's. My brother Tommy, he said, and gone. Oh, I want to show you buttons. Yeah, you take it out of your house as well. I have a phone with me. These are traveller stuff, look. Oh, no, not that one, the other one. Traveller songs. Traveller's everything. Oh, that. No one gets in here now. See that? There's traveller songs, traveller's videos. It's a big collection. Big collection of stuff yeah. there. I've got way another box of gloves. Box of gloves as well, God help them. This one vibrating. Thank you. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? That's me. That's me, Daddy. Oh, look, making them. Um, Did you know her? Mommy, what no, was he I making there? Uh, uh, something Jimbo off a lorry. That's my no, brother Richie. Ah, Part of a lorry. What do you come in is? There's a. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Well, that's me brother Sweet Bee with his yeah, little donkey. Yeah. That was a donkey horse. Yeah. And then that's the, my sister Mag on. That was brothers that was there already. Yeah, right. you want over, over the north? north? Yeah, yeah. When you go over the north, you have to. Ah, have there's my the brother Sweet Bee with his first daughter. That's me two sisters. That's a long time ago. Catley and Anne. That's a four for me. Flatten Mommy up, has uh, lots of photos. Like yeah, there's yeah, buttons. Yeah. Look. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just, I'm just, you know, very interested in terms of us being nomadic people, Indigenous people. Mm. Um, we had a freedom yeah. before 1963 yeah, to, that's right. to travel Ireland, mm -hmm. and then in 2002 the trespassing law came, mm. where they actually criminalised us they for did. being travellers. Yeah, they did. They did. So what, how do you feel about that? Oh, I feel it's very bad and it's very wrong and it's. It's, it's no different than Africa or other countries, Indian countries. They put them into little uh, places. We don't mind it, we all want places to stay. But we want the freedom too, do you know? If you look at Duranamor and people like that, that the famous films is made out of, do you know? You just find out, as a matter of fact, I have a page 
and it puts all these stuff up in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's hundreds now, thousands, isn't it, Folly said? And it puts all this cultural stuff up in it and what they did, what happened to the Indians and what happened to the black people, what happened to the people, uh, people in Australia and how they took their children and took what they country. did. Yeah, what they did to them, ha, yeah. You know, so you're just talking about culture then. Yeah. Do you think that the, you know, the establishment have took our culture away? And how do you feel about that? Well, I think very sad about it because it's changed the traveller's way of life, you know. Um, you know, the men, they're losing, they're losing it. Although now there's a lot hazardous, they sing a lot of Irish songs and there's a lot of them has it. They have much of it, but they haven't all of it, you know. I won't say they lost it all, because they're still in the groups now. They're still in the groups where there's large funerals. And matter how travellers fight one another, it doesn't make a difference. Still, if someone dies belong to them, they still support them, do you know what it's I mean? Inter it's interesting what you're saying about blood. Yeah. You know, so even if traveller have a bit of conflict yeah. in between them, we still respect oh, our dead. Yeah. Oh, they much. do, yeah, they, they definitely do there, because it doesn't, doesn't matter. If you fought with someone or had an argument with someone, you, you still feel it. If, if something happened, you say, well, I shouldn't, we shouldn't have argued. And people, well, you know, more often should think of that way why things is going good for them because um, the travellers have a lot of guilt, see? They feel more, they feel an awful lot of guilt, they blame themselves and things, you know, which they shouldn't. it's not their fault. It's yeah, it's correct. not their fault. You're, no, you're, they you're dead right yeah, in, they in relation to that because yeah. a lot of things have been done to us by yeah, the establishment, yeah. Yeah. you know, since 1963. Yeah. And you're one of the women that had uh, held, held headed up the civil rights mm. movement, yourself and your, yeah, your and sister, family, God rest her yeah, soul, and the rest of the family. Yeah. You think today the traveller activists have got a bit soft? Yeah. Yes, I think they are a bit soft. I think, uh, yeah. I think in, in, in the halting sites, they should be born into, into movable sites for the travellers, because the travellers have to go into houses, and they don't want to be in houses. They want to be in their own community. So they've no other choice then, and there's no room for them. Do you know, this place would be packed if people know. You still make a little bit of room for them, but they're in danger with fire, and they're in the children be danger in cars, and you name it. And when they need support, they're around the family. Do you know, mm -hmm. we're in a house you want to far away in different places. Then they can't keep their dog, their dogs. They cannot keep their ponies. The, the visitors has to stop coming and go, I find that if travellers go into a house they don't get a lot of visitors. Visitors is, is a thing, to, whatever's about a house, they won't visit people in the house. And if they have a big family and they're coming or going, people um, they can't understand it. We'll so do, it you, do you think the estate is winning trying to make us settle people? Yeah, yeah, because there's no land for them. There's, there's laws out for them not to travel, and um, within a short while, if people don't stand up for themselves, there'll be none of us left. You know, no there way. definitely won't be none of us left. You have to stand up there to, to fight for what you want. And but the travellers are richer; they could buy their own land and build their own house and say, but they're not. They don't have that money to do so. So, Chrissy, I'm here with you today, yeah. and. Uh, who are these two ladies? That oh, and that's um, Elizabeth, and those memory, and Sarah. And one and one of eight girls. Sarah's eight youngest. girls, so they're only two of them. The rest of them is not coming out for some reason. Does Kathy want to come out? No. Well, Kathy is there. Girls, I, I'm just very interested in your mommy's story that she had a, held a civil rights movement in the late, the late 70s to 80s. And she talked about our culture uh, being ripped away from us and our freedom. You know, how do you feel about that as travellers? I feel annoyed because from we were small, tiny, mommy had us in marches and we were, it was inbred in us. Like some people think if they live in a camp and they're automatically a traveller, but it was inbred in us. We were at the back of carts. Like, it, it was like, <laughs> not only, um, people think of, sometimes yeah. travellers is a physical thing if you live in a trailer or you do this or that, but no, it was mm. kind of in here. We were, it was 
taught to us we were taught about who we were where we came from it was very much a pride thing so when we went to school i feel anyway mm. even though we were in school and the children would say well you, i can't play with you because you're a traveler yeah. and i'd feel I sorry for them rather it, than yeah. feeling insecure yeah. about it we yeah. were we were in, we were taught oh, pride I used to in go down, I'd go down to school so and, i'd yeah. say oh well whatever I felt sorry for them not being travellers mm. and they were feeling sorry for me being a traveller and that's how we were taught pride in ourselves and I don't think, mm. I think travellers are, are not teaching their children to be proud for, to yeah. be proud of who they are and where they come from. I remember, you, know, you know what's really really interesting as well Elizabeth, you know you, you come from a very strong activist a yeah. powerful woman um, in yeah. Irish society, if not European yeah, level. Definitely. You know, um, do you think the activists today, do you think that we're not strong enough, forthcoming enough? The thing I think about activists now is no reflection on you because no. I think you step out of a box and a Absolutely. box, a box that a lot of activists are in. And it's like a jack in the box. They're allowed out to say some things, but not all things. And while they're getting paid by the, the government, um, they don't have freedom to say oh, what they no. have. But mommy and nan never got paid. They never got a penny. Uh, Actually, uh, they put their own money into yeah, it. Yeah, we didn't get a, um, they didn't even get a cup of tea for it. They didn't even get yeah. a cup of tea I'm out very of it. interested mm. in hearing that story. Yeah. And what they put in, they put in for their own people, for themselves, for their children, for us. For a better life for us, for a better life for the grandchildren, for a better life of the Irish travellers. And that time there was no Roma travellers or all these other travellers. For Irish, in us Irish travellers, um, and they, did, they didn't get a penny. And I think these people, like in groups at the moment, they're kind of being controlled. Mm. And they can't say what they want because they have these jobs and, and, and it's hard for travellers to get jobs and I'm mm. not backbiting you or saying it in bad again ye. What no, I'm saying okay. is it's hard for a traveller to get a work. I know myself. I went for work uh, to, 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 to work with travellers, to communicate with my own mm. people mm. and settle people got it over me because am I not better to communicate with you than mm. a settled woman? I would feel that. But I, because I was too much of a mouthpiece, I didn't, I, you don't get the jobs. If you speak your mind, they want people they can control. Okay. And our family didn't fit in that box. So we didn't get the jobs. We just did the work. Well, mommy and nan and me daddy and John and oh, all yeah. the people, Michael McDonough, and all these people did mm. it for like yeah. their yeah. belief yeah. from their yeah. heart and their yeah. soul and all the work they put in. Was so from they, them. they couldn't be bought for money. They couldn't be no. bought because they just couldn't be bought. Sure, in a natural fact, mommy and daddy was trying to be bought out of this camp and put out for yeah, a mom, lot more mommy, millions. Money oh. to get out of here. And money. we, mm. mommy, me daddy and mommy said, no, we can't be bought. No. <laughs> we want to die here and live here, and this is uh, where we're, we're yeah, bought, they did, where yeah. we exactly are. Exactly, I think that's a very, that. very important statement. Yeah, well, some people do anything money, for money. Mo our well, family, we weren't that people. Mommy and daddy and bred in us, not money, pride in ourselves. Loyalty. Loyalty mm. to our people. Yeah. But now it's shifted. We're being like, it's like the devil is, is dangling uh, money there. And money's hard to get because they're in travellers and not allowed to work. Because they're put off the roads, travel men's put off the roads. Well, and they're going to criminal things. That's to, to why there's so much. So I understand why they're doing it. That's why the young fellas, my opinion, is in and out of jail. Yes. That's why they're in and out of jail. They can't get a bit of scrap. They can't earn an extra couple of bob. Yeah. They can't do anything. They're in a house and they're watched from morning till night. And uh, at least when they were travelling around, there was nobody watching them. And um, they can't get, there's nothing for them. They're the same as some of the settled people. There's nothing, nothing for them. I, and that's why they get into I, I think that's a really, really yeah. important yeah. statement coming from a civil rights yeah, activist just, like just, yourself. Just, because I, I would have watched you yeah. and, and from a distance and admired all your work, you know, and would have basically said, yes, we're actually criminalised now yeah, for being it, travellers. It, exactly. And on one hand, they've assimilated yeah, us yeah. and said it integrated no us. Horses, no horses, no Take away our culture Can't from us. Can't trot a lot. Uh, the one, the, the world is their old ponies. 
and that keeps them out of trouble and it keeps them it keeps the mind occupied because our mind we, we think well I think we think a lot different than certain people. Of course we do. Yeah we do. And that's been took away from them. And I seen them out here with a little pony out in the field one day for the chill a little mare and foal. And the cage used to come along every week take and they take the ponies. Yeah, we were eating our own that. ponies and didn't know making burgers of our own ponies. I swear to God they were. We were eating our own ponies. We'd go over to the shop and get a bit of meat and the meat had turned uh, um, no, rusty. No the meat was that. rusty, I swear to God. I believe you. And I used to say, God, there's something wrong with that meat. I'd never seen meat like that in my life. <laughs> It was our own ponies that, that we were eating. I hope it was an arrow. Oh, it was, it was. Yeah. And How it was, can you identify them? My daddy's pony. No, but you don't need one to take the, 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 the ponies, we get them made when the strip you know, off. Do you know what's very interesting mm. what you're saying? Just to bring you back yeah. to, you know, the mare, the, the mare yeah. that, oh, the little pony fall. that was... Yeah, what they done it. was, there were, it, it was a little mare and fall. They're talking about cruelty, the ponies. Me and my dad was, was running, trying to get them back. There was a little mare and fall out running. here, and the little fall was only that high. And they comes along anyhow, and they got the poor little mare in. And they were taken after the, the little fall. The little fall, you see. And the little children run the fall. They run the fall down the field. But wouldn't you think they would have left out that little mare to look after the fall? No, they didn't. Yeah. And uh, another day, me and da Daddy went out the road, and here was these pie balls that were taken off the travellers, and they ate them up in the dump the out of swords. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I said, these, these are the one ponies that took off the travellers, and they ate them up. And travellers are not bad to the ponies. No. They're not bad to their dogs. Oh, no, they love their dogs. And the love of their ponies. So they're stripped of everything. Stripped of getting a bit of scrap. To get a few pounds extra in the door. Mm -hmm. With a few pounds in the door, they're not allowed to get a bit extra. You know what I mean? They're stripped of everything. They're stripped, in my opinion, they're stripped of everything. Chrissy, um, you have a beautiful grotto here. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, when we were building this first, my sister said, What are you building? I said, I'm building watch bands for it. What are you building watch bands for? So to keep an eye to the camp. <laughs> you see? But she believed me, she went on, I forgot that her was them. But she came back again and this was built, this was made and put in there. And she said, how did you tell me you're building a watchman's hut? I said, well, isn't it the, the watchman's hut? I said, who's watchman? Well, Paddy used to always put his flowers and his lights around here and all his little things. There's a little thing he bought in the mark, we bought the mark on there. And there's Jesus fell off of his life, look, you see him? And he's thinking, what is he going to do to the earth? What's going to happen? And then uh, the little candles. You know, you know, it's very interesting yeah. what I see here yeah. that you have, God rest he's your cross. husband, yeah. cross. Yeah. That seems to be travellers, tra a lot of travellers do that now, Chrissy. Yeah, they do. Why? Yeah, they do. Well, you know, well, travellers don't forget their day, put it that way. No matter how long they're dead, they speak as if they're there. Well, we speak of all the dead is here. We don't shut our mouth. We're just as if they're around the camp, as if, if they're in the trailer. They speak of their dead, and then they have this thing on them that the dead is in. Come to look after them when they're in trouble. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> People, so, people think that's a bit weird, but it's not. No, I, I, you know, I genuinely believe yeah, that as yeah, well, but, you know. You know, a lot of people say, well, can you help me? Or, and I know you're around. And be honest, if I told you the stories about the things that went on, like and the things that happened, and how the, you know, people, people say that one is mad, but not, not mad. But travellers have that belief that the dead comes back to them. And of course they do. Yes, the, the dead comes back to them and if they ask the dead to help them, they will help them and they will always show them a sign if you ask them. You ask them for a help or ask them for a sign and they'll always show them a sign. So we talk as if the dead is never gone. So, oh, so, so as dead. travellers we have preserved yeah. Yeah. a lot of yeah. the Catholic way of life, oh, haven't yeah. we? Yeah, to have time God for that. And you think we've paid a price for that, Chrissy? Um, no, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know really, but um, 
No, we try and keep the little we have now, that's all. Because we we're have. very, like, yeah. Yeah. Catholic yeah. and travellers go hand yeah. in hand. And would the, I be right in saying yeah, that? Yeah, they would, yeah. Because a bit of faith. They wouldn't have a lot of the older travellers would say faith is yeah. the most they wouldn't important have abortions thing. abortions around me, that travellers wouldn't, wouldn't yeah. have. You know what yeah. I mean? They have that, if they could in, in the them. heart. Yeah, they have, and yeah. they, wouldn't, they wouldn't do that. That's the thing that would never do. Right. Elizabeth, you're an amazing activist and I just heard you speak a moment ago and you're so passionate and dignified. What has actually kept you away from uh, being an activist? I think partly it's because I don't believe in the, the, the activist, half of the activists are scorn, the NGOs, I don't believe in that. Um, and I think I didn't feel like I had to be for a long time because we were inbred in ourselves we were happy in our own skin i was happy along totting along and then there's another side of it um i was kind of i don't even know if i should say i was married to another traveler family that weren't very proud of who they are Ma a matter of fact tried to hide who they were so we were always at a wars of i came from mommy and daddy which is very proud travelers and they were almost trying to blend yourself in to be settled people so it was like conflict all the time i think you know from from listening to you and having conversations today with you i mean you're such a powerful activist um you know you've so much passion and our our women need people like you so what would encourage a woman like yourself to get involved in activists what would encourage me is travellers themselves respecting what I would do, number one. Because there is travellers out there, they, they, there is people in the NGOs that do a lot of good work, but travellers themselves don't really respect the NGOs. So for me to go out and do work for travellers, I would want to be respected in the same way that Mommy would have been respected, because she was highly respected in what she did. Traveller women and men respected her a lot. Now it took a while for the traveller women to get on board because it was like you kind of like back in the day when they were young, it was not unheard of for traveller women to be doing anything. So they had to go through the barriers in their own community and traveller women don't have to go through that today. Well they do a little but not a lot. So I'd want to I wouldn't I do anything for my own people. Anything. And I wouldn't be wanting, I wouldn't be doing it for money, I'd be doing it for the love of my own people. But I'd want, in return, in payment, respect for what I'm doing. Not gratification or glory or any of that rubbish. I'd want to be respected from my own people, what I'm doing. Not from a, a check or um, Facebook likes or any of that rubbish. I'd want... Um, people to say oh well like what I would say to you Mags which I am very proud of you as a traveller woman in all honesty mm. I'm known a good few activists but you I feel like there is a connection mm. there I feel I see bits of you bits of mommy in you and nan in you um, and I've said this to you before yeah, I respect you as a woman mm. as a traveller woman and as an activist and I know you come from the NGOs and that's no reflection on you because you don't think in that um, you're not put in, in, in little but I would say to you now, from one traveller woman to another, we need women like you in order to have hope. I'm just looking at freedom, peace and hope. It's actually something that your mummy designed yeah. and actually put up as a this flag. This was a group me and you were yeah. in and she made this flag, yeah. remember? So our young women need people like you. No one individual voice can change stuff. So, you know, how would you feel about, you know, being a voice for other women i would you know. I love to be if i what i want to do and for traveler women is unite us yes. i think traveler women are getting they're kind of pulling away from each other the internal and we oppression. don't lift each other up anymore we don't do this i i i see women and and as long as some women i'm not judging you women it's your own thing but as long as they have a louis vuitton or with stupid things like that they're happy enough but i feel more gratification of somebody tap me on the back and say oh well good job that that you you, you sung true to somebody's soul i want to see the women's souls i don't want like it's all really nice being beautiful and 
for women to be pretty and all that. But I see your soul because you're a good person. And sometimes you see souls that it's not so good, but I want, I want all traveling women to be united. And I really would love to work on what traveling girls are going through in our own community. That's something I'm very passionate about. Um, if a girl makes a mistake or if um, education, education is my number one thing that I am so passionate inside about education. Like I'd follow my children, I used to follow them to make sure they went into school. Because if you have an education, you have something. But in education, I would love, for me, myself, I would love to be in schools and for to be able to talk to the, to stop the discrimination inside the school so the children don't feel like they have to fall out of school as soon as it's the legal age to leave because mm -hmm. it feels like they're in prison and as soon as the legal age hits they're gone mm -hmm. i want to st i would love to to have the back in and to have a he help to keep them children in school girls and boys can i can i say something to you now as a traveler woman i have been involved a long long time and what well, i would say community development and dipped in and out of activism i would like to think but you're a big loss to our community if anything a woman like yourself should be to the front line of of this uh, new um campaign that we're actually launched on the 8th of um october i think someone like yourself should be heading up this political campaign because it's people like you who actually have an open mind and a mindset to bring unity amongst traveller women and the traveller community. Yeah. We need more voices like that. And would you consider in time getting involved in that? I would consider in doing anything for my people that I believe in. Yes. Because without people like you, you know, uh, we're losing young little girls oh, through suicide, yeah. young women, oh, you yeah. know, are actually, the internalised depression is actually growing and growing mm. because compared to your mommy and your aunt, God rest her soul, in terms of the civil rights movement, mm -hmm. things have kind of gone backwards right now at yeah. this stage. We don't have that kind of political voice no. that we should have. No. We don't have it outside the community or inside of it either. And I think there's a lot of people that prey on women, traveller women in particular. And sometimes the traveller women marry, it could be separated women. There's targets there for separated women. I'm getting like a hundred Facebook ads and they think because you're a separated woman that you're automatically now you're dirty or, or this or that. And there could be some vulnerable woman that sat at the losing her husband, at the losing somebody in her life. And these predators are coming in and they're trying to take that woman down and some women is not strong enough to be able to say if they did make a mistake or they didn't you know what so what i'm moving on from this go and 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 I, me a bit born from mommy that wouldn't break me but there's women out there that it would break and i feel i would love to protect our women from the predators but the message i would have to give them god love them my heart goes out for the young people today. I feel so sorry for what's going on in their lives because their lives is cut very short. And maybe you should get more, maybe you need more fair play and stand up for yourselves. And um, keep a little bit of tradition. And um, you're not, you know, you're not bad people. The travelling young fellas are not bad people, it's just that you get no fair play. And I think everybody today, those young people should stand up for them. There should be a young committee for young people. The teenagers and up to certain ages, there should be a young committee set it up there, boys and girls, for to look after yourself and deserve what you, look for what you get. But what you get, you would deserve it because you had it hard enough. And God knows you have it too hard. And there's a lot of poor people depressed, young boys depressed and girls depressed. A lot of them are stuck in houses. God loved them. I know where to go. And our, the, our Irish ground is took up. At, I, well, it is our ground, put it that way. It is our ground. It is our country. 
we have a right. Those young people has a right to be treated right. And this is their own country. We're not asking anything. We're not in England. We're not in the North. We're in our own country. And they have a right to be treated good in their own country. And I, I would tell them today, stand up for yourself. Stand up for what you believe in. And stand up because you're, you're entitled to what you get. And you're entitled to look after yourself. And people's no right or business is taking your human rights away. And there's jobs there that should be sheared around with the young people. Remember that. And take your education and you can be what you want. Don't allow people away with that. That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>